Welcome back. We've got a special video today. Just for fun, we're going to look, try to make the highest attack possible. At least with the levels that I'm currently at, we're going to try to find the absolute highest attack we could do. At the end of the video, we're going to look at the damage formulas that you can find in some of the forums and talk a little bit about that. So we're going to bring Lady Nimrod and King York. They have very specific reasons for them. It's a nice fitting transition here. It says Lady Nimrod deals double damage to tanks. We're going to make use of that. So we chose this first level. Uh, it's great that the levels, the, the enemies we're going to go against are very low level, but also we've got a nature-based tank character, and that's Femus. So we found, found our candidate there to reach the highest attack on. So the first thing we're going to do is call in a friend and get the goblin dance party. So we'll have that to boost everyone's attack and critical rate. I have mentioned in another video before that that does disproportionately greater increase in your damage than you'd expect. You can see that first hit, 29,000. Uh, we're going to get much higher than that. So marked for death. We just put that on Femus this turn. And we're waiting. We're going to do her get over here skill. Right now, just for anyone who's trying to do some of these calculations, it's 1311 is the base damage. And you just saw 230,000 damage. We're going to play this in slow motion. So marked uh, added 70,000, and we got 230 damage on this guy. And you see that 5,000 bonus from fire. So let's take a few minutes and look at the damage formula. If you go online to the forums, you'll see an equation that has three basic parts. The adjusted attack, the sum of the total damage multipliers, and then a damage reduction. So all three of those are then multiplied together. We're going to go into each one of those and talk about them a little bit next. The first component is adjusted attack. So adjusted attack takes into account your attack and the defender's defense, and then any attack buffs and defense buffs that might exist. Those can come from passive or active skills that are buffing the attack and the defense. Now for our attack, uh, our attack and had a lot of buffs on it and was already very high, and we're going to be subtracting off the enemy's defense, which is going to be incredibly low since it's a level 3 enemy, and they don't have any defense buffs. We'll just keep that in mind, that that basically goes to zero. The second component is the total damage multiplier. Again, if you look at the forum on this step, you'll see you add together all the damage multipliers from element, uh, race, from armor type, other buffs. It's not entirely clear how this is separate from other attack buffs. Uh, there's a lot of stuff that's kind of cloudy in this right now. Uh, but for example, if you've got Squinch and you're going against a taunting warrior, wall burning, uh, and buffed, you can deal a total of 2 plus 2 plus 1.1 or 5.5 total multiplier for this damage multiplier. Now it's important because you see that it's additive. It's not multiplied. They're not multiplied up by each other. This is added together. Each one of those is separate. Um, so that's, that's how this total damage multiplier is going to work. Finally, we have the damage reduction. So the damage reduction is multiplied each time there is one present, and the example given is Lady Nimriel's damage against a water armor type unit. So there's going to be a 25% reduction for each one of those, for the water reduction and then for the armor damage reduction, uh, which means that the multiplier is 1 minus that, or 0.75. So you get 0.75 times 0.75. She ends up doing 56% of the damage she would have done because of those reductions. Now if they were additive, she'd be adding that 25 and 25, she'd be doing 50% of the damage, which would be much worse. And you could see how a couple of reductions would get you to zero damage. Um, you don't want a game that works that way, so they've made multiplying damage reductions here. So again, an important point to keep in mind. All right, so coming back to the beginning, we're gonna have a very high adjusted attack with almost nothing taken off from the defender side. We're going to have a whole bunch of multipliers, so the sum of our total damage multipliers is going to be very high. And then basically no damage reduction for that unit. So collectively, all that adds up to this huge damage. However, 
No matter how hard I tried, I couldn't get the numbers to work out to give me such a high attack damage. Um, I've mentioned in previous videos that I've noticed other uh, discrepancies between the numbers that were given and, and the values, uh, the numbers that were given on skills and the values I've seen showing up. For example, when you look at Cruel King Bramble's skill, that Goblin Dance Party, you know, the text says that it should be raising your attack by something like 40%, depending on the skill level, but the effect turns out to be something much more like 75 or 80%, a much larger jump. It appears that it may be getting multiplied in, or added and multiplied in different parts of this equation. So we see that there are, there's more going on. If anyone, any of the, the viewers that see this have any further insights, please share them in the comments. We'll play the slow motion one more time. Hopefully we'll get some good information coming in in the comments if there's anyone else that can help clarify what's going on with this. Uh, as always, let me know if there's anything else you'd like to see and what you enjoyed. Thanks.